Hey Future Yellow Jackets, I'm Charlene, your new student specialist, and today I'll be helping you claim your NetID, reset your password for your profile, and get into your MyInfo student portal. So first, let's start with claiming our NetID. In order to claim our NetID, we're gonna need our GID, or our student ID number. That's the dash zero number that was on your acceptance letter and your email, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and put that into the NetID lookup hyperlink. So let's take you to that hyperlink. You'll wanna start on the MSU Billings main website. On the top, there's a gray search bar, and right in the right-hand corner, you can see the My Info hyperlink. So we're gonna go ahead, click that page, and on here, the second hyperlink says, if you do not know your NetID, look it up here. So we're gonna go ahead and click into that so we can claim our NetID. And in here, we'll put in our student ID that we were given. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Submit, it's gonna ask for your date of birth. Put that in. And then on this page, it'll give you your NetID. So that's how you can claim it. This NetID is your portal for everything. That's how you're gonna get into your D2L, your MyInfo, all of that. So you wanna make sure that you remember that. Next, we'll wanna go ahead and reset your password for the portal. This password will be your access to all things MSUB. Not only your email, your student portal, and everything else that you might have at MSUB that's connected to your NetID and your student ID. So on here, on step three, you can see you can reset your self-service password portal right there, or if you're not on there and already have your NetID, you can go back to the MSU Billings main website and click back into that My Info hyperlink. And the third hyperlink here, if you do not know your password, reset it here, will take you to the same page. So we'll go ahead and click into that and it'll go over how to reset that NetID password. Now we have our NetID password all set and we have our NetID and our student ID. What's next? Well, we're gonna go ahead and look at our student portal. This is where all your information is located. Your personal information, your student services, undergrad checklist, which is brand new and you really wanna check it out before school starts so you know where you're on track at, communications from the college, financial aid, and also ordering your parking pass. So make sure you log in before school starts and check out all of these accessories. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go back to the MSUB main website and again, your My Info hyperlink, and we're gonna go ahead and log in. Now here you'll be able to put that combination of letters and numbers that you just recovered and the password that you reset to that. And now that we're inside my info, you'll be able to see all of the tabs that I was talking about. Your personal information, your student services, financial aid. If you're a student worker on campus, um, you'll have an employee services tab where you can track your hours as well as your pay stubs. You'll have some communications, which is through the communications tab, as well as the notifications tab. And finally, the parking services. This is where you'll be able to order that parking pass. Now, another thing you wanna make sure that you do is under the student services tab, you'll wanna click return to menu so that this undergrad admissions checklist um, hyperlink is there for you to look at your checklist. This is really important, especially if you're trying to see where you're at in your process with MSUB and what we need and what we don't have. We also have another video that explains your undergrad admissions checklist. So I look forward to seeing you real soon on there. Have a great day, Yellow Jackets. See you soon.